Hey, this is Mike Geller with Brightview Cleaning. What we're seeing here is a uh, window that most guys would say, oh, you can't do that with a water-fed pole. Uh, they, the homeowner said they haven't been cleaned in about eight to 10 years, somewhere in there. Um, I've got Adam with clean, from Cleaning Green here with me. He's gonna videotape, and I thought this would be a good time since we're both on the job. The upstairs one, you can't quite see on the video, uh, but it's just as bad. Uh, try to zoom in, and it, there we go. It's just as bad up there uh, with the hazing and everything else. I already did the other window next to it. I'm going to take over here. Uh, I'll keep it zoomed in a little bit so you can see the work. And I'll describe. This, this works uh, really well for any window, this process. But particularly a window that's oxidized like this. Uh, this I'm using the green uh, end light radius brush. It's my favorite brush for this kind of thing, for first time cleans. It really does a good job. Um, it, the boar's, boar's hair does a good job as well, but it doesn't get the corners as well as you'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scrub this frame up top. So any of that oxidation and everything else will have a chance to run down. And you'll see how it splays in the corner. I'm alternating pushing with, with letting up. That way I'm getting the edges of the brush uh, active as I'm going in kind of circles. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but already you can see where the brush has been as it scrubs down the uh, thing. And that's one of the things about uh, the Reach-It brushes, the early ones didn't have the aggression. He has some now that have this that are this aggressive, and I'm eagerly awaiting to see the constructor brush. Okay, so we've washed the top, and uh, Adam, can you see the difference on the video the, between where it's washed and not? At that point, washed and not? A little bit. Okay. Hopefully it'll show up. You can see it really well live. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse all that top we just did. We're going to come back and rinse, but we're not going to touch the top again in case it's letting bad stuff off. And we're going to continue scrubbing down. Uh, unfortunately, when it's a first time clean like this, it really does require some scrubbing. But even if you were mopping it, you'd be changing your water all the time. And you would probably need to scrub it twice to get all this off anyway. Um, and you'll be laddering up. So this, you know, that traditional definitely has a place, and I was debating whether to do this traditional or not. But I figured I would show you guys that water fed does work uh, in a situation like this, because a lot of people say they swear it doesn't, and they're having issues and things like that. So we've given it a really good scrub on a first time thing like this. You got to. Now I'm going to come back, and I'm not going all the way to the top, and I'm rinsing. And I, I use a tip-up method because I'm lazy. Uh, just rinse it down. And I've got two fan jets in there. And pretty good flow coming down. I come off the come off of there, even though you technically have to with the monofilament. I always do. Now this is another area that gives a lot of guys problems are their corners. They don't spend enough time in their corners and up underneath the sills and things like that. So we're, we do the same thing, treat the treat the bottom the same way, where we we get that little buffer there. We get in there and scrub those corners really well and then give ourselves a little bit of buffer from the oxidation and then the same thing we'll come back and rinse right up in there go ahead and hit it get all that dirt down let it let it come on down and now i'm going to finish scrubbing the rest of the window and I, hopefully you can see where that brush can you see that on the video yeah you see the where the, see it, where the brush hits it this brush is very aggressive that's why it's one of my favorite brushes to use uh, so depending on the monofilament some of them are just not as aggressive and then also because it is a radius it's very forgiving at the angle you're at you really don't even need an angle adapter with it but once again the corners and the sides are the issues that most guys have I scrub a little bit extra because I don't really go back and touching up and then the other thing we're going to do here these seals are really dirty so we just go ahead and give them an extra scrub as part of our process And we're going to come back and not touch the frame again. And then we're going to just rinse this all down. And voila, a window that they say can't be done with a water fed pole done. And I'll get some before and after pictures for you to see. Uh, without, If I need to touch up, I'll tell you on the video that uh, I needed to touch up. I just wanted to re-rinse this bottom one over here. So, all right. So that's that, and I'll 
I'll show you before and after these uh, bottom windows too. I'll include it in the video. Talk to you later. All right, so this is the upstairs window. It looks reasonably good, but since they weren't clean in about eight years, there is a little bit of hardwood staining right there, which I can take some steel wool to and try to see if it'll buff out real quick. If not, we'll head it with some one restore uh, if the customer wants it gone. So, but that's the, the window we did outside. It looks pretty good.